All right, folks, so convenience comes at a cost. This morning we talk about the convenience of having a vehicle and the expenses that come with it. Can't tell you about that. And here to give us some advice and tips is the Chief Executive Officer of Motor Assured Limited, Mr. Xavier Allen. Welcome, Bridget. How are you? Morning. Good morning to you and your listeners. Yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? I can't complain. Give thanks. Motor Assured yes. Limited. Tell me about that. All right, it's Jamaica's first and the Caribbean's first fully digital extended motor vehicle warranty provider. First of its kind in, in the Caribbean, what we do is provide the coverage that your vehicle would need um, in the event that you have a major breakdown. No, we're not insurance, so we're not in the accident business. We're in your driving down the street, something goes wrong with your car, we're the person that you, um, you'd want to be having your back because we'll pay for it 100% for parts and labor. You keep your own mechanic as you normally would. You pay for it? Yes, Are you, once you're a subscription holder. We pay for oh, it. Oh, once I'm a subscription. Yes, holder. That's absolutely. different. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. And how much is the subscription? The subscriptions vary depending on the, the, the purpose of the vehicle. So we cover private motor vehicles, rent a cars, um, um, commercial vehicles, and we also do public passenger vehicles. So it depends on the type of car, what you use it for. Yeah. But we are as low as $3,000 per month in terms of what a subscription would look like. All right, all right. So yeah, we have some tips here and I'll give you the tips and you can explain. Right. So get to know what the warning lights on your dashboard mean and never ignore them. Right. You know, oftentimes we, we, we turn on the car, lots of lights come on and then they all go away. Generally what you should see on the dashboard is only the one that tells you if you're in drive, um, park or reverse. Don't ignore the warning lights because those lights could mean something very minor to something very significant. And it's something that we tend to not pay attention to until sometimes the car stops. And by that time, we're thousands of dollars um, yeah. in issues. And if we had looked at it from the start when the car is saying, hey, I have a problem, you know, take me somewhere and, have, and get me looked at. It's like you, you feel a little pain, go to the doctor. Yeah, but sometimes the icon come up, and you kind of don't know where the icon means. There's, right. there's one in my car that every right. time it comes up, I kind of go, what is this? Exactly. Yeah. So, how yeah, how you know that? Well, sometimes it, there's a simple thing as you, you have the owner's manual, but if a car, have a car that don't have the owner's manual, there's a simple thing as, as Google. I tell you, I was driving my pickup once and, and a little symbol came up and I, I had no idea what it was. And, I, <laughs> and when I took look, um, looked at Google, it says, yes, it's a transmission telling you something is wrong with the transmission. I said, all right, I need to get this looked at. But then so, some, yeah. some cars will come out and tell yeah. you, say, you need to. Precisely. Yeah, you know, you need some air in your tire or something. Right. Leave out to your destination with adequate time so that you can drive at a moderate speed, making up time uh, burns more fuel. Right. You so know, you say you drive fast. It yeah, speed in, speed in general, it burns more fuel. So you, you why though? Get... Like if you're on the highway and you just uh, do a steady Which is why highway miles are out, because you're at a steady pace. Oh. But it's a stop and go. So you're driving in our own town, and because you're trying to get to somewhere, so you're. So, yeah, if I was trying to get here for, the, um, for this discussion, I know, and I'm leaving out um, half an hour later than I should, then I'll be stepping on it a lot, which would mean I'll be dumping a lot of gas yeah. and, and wasting money. So the, th the thing is to just drive a at steady that. state. And also within the speed limit. Precisely. Right? Yeah. Um, routine maintenance of your vehicle. Right. And, so, and, and, and you, you know that, because if you yeah. buy a vehicle, them say six months right. or 6,000 miles or something, so, or whatever. Service it. Yeah. That's essentially what it, it wants. Yeah. Do the basic servicing. Oftentimes, that will save you thousands of dollars on major repairs. So it's the small little things. So the, the regular oil change, changing the disc pads when, 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 you, when you need to, um, um, topping up on the fluids. Those things will help you um, a whole lot because if you pay, don't pay any attention to those, you could have an engine even, damage. Even if you don't think there's anything wrong. Right. You know, you drive a new car, right. there's nothing wrong. But if they right. say, come at 5,000 kilometers. Precisely. Because they usually 5, give you the time yeah. um, in terms of how many kilometers Early, they go or a time right, in, in, right. In, in, in months to say yeah. after these months, you should come and, and get it checked out. Purchase a vehicle, extended warranty package to protect you from costly repairs. Ah. But don't you pay for that though? No, but, but you pay a small, let, let's, let's use it small, uh, the minimum subscription that we have at uh, Motor Assured, $3,000. Within a year, you pay about $36,000. There's nothing I guarantee you that anybody who has a car now that's going to have a major issue with a transmission, an engine, cost less than when, going to cost less than $36,000. <laughs> going to cost multiples of that. Yeah. Um, so, you, so you'll be saving yourself a whole lot of money yeah. and, and downtime because your, your, your vehicle oftentimes is what moves you around. Yeah, but don't, when you buy the car, you get a warranty package? Depends on the car. 
So if you buy a new car, oftentimes you get like a three-year warranty package. But most of us hold the car for greater than three years. And if you buy a used car, you probably get about 30 days. You know, <laughs> what's going to happen after 30 days? You've spent all this money. So you have to think about that, you know. Yeah. That is the second biggest investment, you know, in a, in a Neville. House and car. Yeah, house, car. Yeah. You saw, and you, and most people buy a car before they buy a house. Yeah. So when, you, when you, you protect that investment and ensure that you're always on the street because you could be out of a car for months um, or having some serious financial issues. In fact, um, we saw some data from the insurance industry that says about 4% of all cars um, at any given point in time is done because people can't afford to repair it. So there's roughly about 16,000 cars. And any given time, people are out of commission because they just can't afford because to repair it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some of these parts, and then you go into labor, and time in the shop is, is, right. is plenty, plenty of money. Precisely. And and we're a mountain society. We're not prepared for that this Monday. <laughs> you ask any Jamaican now. Are you prepared this Monday if, if you have a transmission issue? <laughs> I've never heard it put that way. We're a mountain society, which is kind of true. Which yeah. is kind of true. Um, so really and truly, you can, I, I don't want to say it won't cost you, but you can minimize the cost if you really and truly do the right things with a car, whether new or, or used. Precisely. If you are prepared, it's always about being prepared. If you're better prepared then, um, to manage those costs, then it will become a, a much less of a cost for you. So it's a small investment to get a lot more out of it yeah. and being prepared. Yeah, and with the roads that we have, um, a new car get old in about three hours. Yeah, man, just drive the country. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not talking um, Clarendon. <laughs> Turn east. <laughs> in about three hours, you need to fix it. Come back and hear sounds. <laughs> like a band playing in a car. All right, so let's, let's recap what, what, what we should do to ensure that we, it, it's not costing us an arm. All right, so gen what we recommend is that um, always um, pay attention to the warning lights, as I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. um, Leave out with adequate time so you're not speeding to get to your destination. Um, buy a protective warranty from um, a warranty provider. You know, like, check us out. Like Motor, like Motor Assured. Assured. <laughs> We're in your Google Play Store, your iOS um, store as well. Look, Motor Assured warranty. <laughs> and, and check us out in that space. You can play with it because you can get a free quote in there. You cannot go all the way to sign up because we are a fully digital business. Thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. Blessings. Blessings. Uh, Motor Assured Limited. Um, Mr. Xavier Allen, and he's the Chief Executive Officer and the President. All right, still to come, uh, protecting our babies. Bye. Stay tuned. Soon coming.